cultural activity here. Could these be the hip- Requester? In fact, hold on. You still haven't told me what you're doing here. I doubt that most travelers would have any reason to venture down this way. We took a commission from the Adventurers Guild to investigate the chasm. Apparently a whole- And now it looks like we finally found- Do you want the answer? Huh? You mean- As it happens, I do. It's understandable that you did not perceive anything unusual. The environment here weakens. The curse? Oh, Paimon remembers! For centuries, I have suffered daily from the curse that was laid upon me. And right here, right now, I can feel my b- So, this place weakens the curse? That I shall need to investigate. But to the best of my knowledge, the Abyss Order does not have the technology to achieve this. Indeed. Do you know why Hilichurls it's to hide their appearance? Lest they catch sight of their reflection in a body of water. Compared to how they remember themselves, it is a terrible sight to behold. The curse of immortality denies death to those afflicted. So, you mean... <sighs> no. I mean that the body and soul will continue to be eroded. When the Hilichurls realize that the end is nigh for them, it seems their instinct is to seek out a- And of all the places they could lay down to rest, one that can ease the effects of their- Wow. Conversation's over. Brace yourself. Uh, what is- We're under attack. Serpent Knights. They once belonged to the Royal Guard of Kanria. Wait a second. Royal Guard? Yes, they were. But now, the curse engulfs them. Because they've become pawns of the Abyss now? Let's continue on. Wait! Dead? Uh -huh. Seems we missed one. Wait, stand down. It's disappeared. What the heck? What was going on? How is this possible? How could he have retained self-awareness for 500 years? But more importantly, why did he... That would be a miraculous outcome indeed for a cataclysm that brought total... We should press onward to the city. or something around here, right? Traveler? Don't waste your time. Huh? Conria's technology, abyssal power. Two things I couldn't be more familiar with. Okay, so the Abyss Order really is trying to hide some- Hmm. Dan seems like he really understands what's going on here. No wonder the Abyss Order doesn't want him around. Not necessarily. The closer we draw, 
the more the Abyss Order simply got to them before anyone else. Even older than Kanria? That said, the architecture here does somewhat resemble that of Kanria. Let's head toward the light over there. Mind your foot. We are likely drawing near to whatever the Abyss Order is trying to... Hold on, I think they... Serpent Knights have nothing to do with the Abyss Order's secret. Huh. I should have guessed. So, what exactly is going on with these hilly churls? As I said, for these hilly churls, the end is nigh. They have grown old and fearful of the light, even become one with the darkness. And yet the curse continues to corrode them.
then? Whoa, whoa! What? You recognize him? Could it be? If it's as I suspect, then this is a truly tragic state of affairs. Dane? You want to know why they were gathered here guarding the Hilly Churls, don't you? It's because as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they're simply doing their duty. The one who ordered them to retreat just now, I suddenly recognized him. I knew him as a young man, an elite in the Royal Guard of old. His name is Halfdan. So, he's from 500 years- To this day, I still remember the final orders. I, the Twilight Sword, gave to Halfdan on the day of disaster in Kanria, before I made haste back to the palace. Inform all Black Serpent Knights to protect the people of Kanria at all costs. Because we, of course, were royal guards. But this would mean nothing in the events that followed. Royals, gentry, common folk. These identities made no difference. Against the might of the gods, the only identity that mattered was being from Kanria. These Black Serpent Knights have lost their intellect. But perhaps... In whatever remains of their minds, they are still protecting the people of Kanria. If you see these ruins as Kanria in the throes of disaster, and these hilly churls as the people crying for help, then suddenly I can make sense of what I'm hearing. Their growls are less of a threat and more of a warning. Then what are they saying? Though it is barely discernible, I can just about make it out. They keep repeating a word from the old language of Kanria. Even I have to admit, the fact their will is strong enough to survive 500 years of erosion. It is nothing short of a miracle, born from hopelessness. Oh, so Paimon had them all wrong. It doesn't matter. Even I took them for enemies for a moment. Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. I'm just thinking, nothing more. If you're trying to console me, 
I can assure you there is no need. <laughs> Fine. upside down. Oh, wow. This is a pretty amazing place. Dang, do you have any idea at all how it works? The pool must be part of the entire city structure. A relic of this ancient civilization. And more importantly, it is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. The effect is stronger here than it was before. And I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect. Cleansing? So that means the water in that pool can wash away the curse for good? No. That would be impossible. How are you so sure? I have lived with this curse for 500 years, and I have been fully conscious the entire time. Suffice to say, no one understands the curse like I do. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing it entirely? Consider it tantamount to burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. Huh? Cleansing the curse cost you your life? Whoa, an irreversible curse! In any case, I can feel that the water's cleansing effect is not nearly potent enough. At most, it might suppress the curse, but a little. Hmm. So, what's that contraption there? It looks kind of out of place. Frankly, I have never seen a device of this design before either. 
It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the Abyss Order. But what could they be planning to do here? Halfdan, do you have something to say to me? He ran off! But he didn't disappear like last time. He's indicating that we should follow him. Are you coming? True. So... <gasps> Perhaps whatever lies ahead is what he wants us to see. Let's keep going. There are more signs of Hilichurl activity here! Camp. Oh, these hilly trails look like they're in pretty bad shape, too. So, is this what Haftan wanted to show us? Whether it is or not, everything here is worth investigating in detail. Inspect the area. Leave no stone unturned. Seems like these hilly trails have no life left in them at all. Before long, they'll become one with the darkness. The hilly trolls we meet in the wild are always so rowdy. We may not have a whole lot of happy memories dealing with hilly churls, but still, Paimon hopes they're at peace in their last moments. <laughs> that they don't need to eat anymore? Hmm. Even if they don't need to eat anymore, Paimon bets they still miss food for the flavor. There's even a bonfire here! Like what Hilly Churros built in the wild! Wait! But wasn't Dane saying that Hilly Churros get scared of the light when they reach the very end of their lives? Hmm. Maybe, in the very, very end, they still want to feel some light and warmth. Oh. Uh, just thinking aloud here uh, could also be another reason. How did that flower get this far underground? Did someone bring it in memory of the deceased hilly churls? Hey, now that you mention it, Paimon thinks it looks kind of familiar too! It is the national flower of Kanria, the Intivat. It once bloomed all over the nation. It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Kanria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Only when it finally returned to its home soil, would the petals grow soft once more, and finally turn to dust. So the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, signifying the tenderness of the homeland. <gasps> so if 
for this flower to get here. It must have been brought from... Focusing single-mindedly on confronting the heavenly principles, we neglected our original mission, the revival of the homeland. I should not have been so indecisive. The device is almost ready. We await your command. What are the chances of succeeding? Theoretically speaking, uh, approximately... Forget it. Even a 1% chance is enough. For too long have we dwelt in the Abyss. Surely they would rather return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as possible than continue to exist as they are, without a shred of dignity. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. The Order is most fortunate to be graced with your decision. You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? Yeah, you zoned out for quite a while there. Huh. Well, people do say that twins have a special connection. It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier, and... You say he mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hilly Churls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then, they will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. After all, there can be no nation without a people. <laughs> It is the height of foolishness. They have no chance of success, not even a 1% chance. I told you already that no one knows this curse better than I, having lived with it for 500 years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. So make sure you are clear in your mind. You have to tell yourself, they are no longer human. If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, the only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. Save your strength for something worth saving. Oh? <laughs> but of course, I am merely someone you hide. It is only natural for you to side with him. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My chosen path is to stop the Abyss. If we have reached an impasse... I see. It seems that the three questions I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Very well. Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the Abyss. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. We can see the Upside Down City from here, too! 
Wait, watch out! The mutation is continuing. Has the Abyss made its move already? Jane Smith, I see your incessant meddling continues, and that you have once again joined forces with our Highness's kin. Regrettably, I was not in time to control your exit from the network, and it sent you here of all places. <laughs> this was a catastrophic error. I am surprised that you dare to face me. You ran like a coward last time. Our Highness's will must be done. All interferences must be removed, whatever the price to pay. This time, the curse that torments our people must be undone, once and for all. You are the only ones who torment them. There is nothing else left of those hilly churls. Nothing besides the curse itself. Say what you wish. I am going nowhere, Dainsliff. Then you will give your life just to delay the inevitable. How absurd. But since you wish to persist, then so be it! You really think you can use that device beneath the pool to cleanse this curse? Do not underestimate the ways of the Abyss! That device cannot provide the cleansing effects of the water in your but a hundred pool! Then I overestimated you. This plan is even cruder than I thought. There's no time to celebrate. The Abyss Order's device is activating, but there's still time to destroy it. All right, let's go! Yep. <clears throat> ah, yeah. The amplification device. This is 
no way for them to meet their end. Find a way to stop that thing. I thought he would have been turned to ashes in an instant. Haftan's soul is extraordinarily resilient. Meddling fool! Encumber us no more! Don't you have a greater encumbrance to worry about? Come on. This is your grand opportunity to get rid of me. Tainsliff! Take him out and deactivate the device. Has come. Peace be with you. The show begins. The gifts of grace. Peace be with you. Of this light shine. How dare you! The gifts of grace! Of it all I shine! Stop that! The power of reality! Upon you! Hear ye the word of joy! How dare you! The truth <laughs> shall set you free! Stop that! Grace be upon you! The power Strike of pose. revelation! Peace and hope find you! The word of joy. The truth shall set you free. Grace be upon you. Peace and hope find you. The power of revelation. The truth shall set you free. How dare you! Hear ye the word of joy. Grace be upon you. Peace and hope find you. Hear ye the word of joy. The power of revelation. Shall it... What do we do now? The Abyss Lecter's gone, but the device won't stop! And... Haftan... No! As long as the device is active, the Cursed are rendered powerless. Only you can take on the Abyss. If you value his sacrifice, then do not waste any more time here. See all these rays of light and portals. They must have installed several of these energy devices in various locations. Find them, quickly! So, we have to... go through... The show begins! Smile! 
the camera! Say cheese! At least I documented everything.
The burning sensation has indeed stopped. So, we managed to stop the Abyss Order's plan? <sighs> Let me check. Ding must be really upset. Of all the ways to be reunited with one of his former comrades after so long... This is rough. <sighs> Let's go.
Huh. Apologies, Captain Dainsliff, Twilight Sword. Back then, I failed you and failed to protect our people. <laughs> no. For 500 years, you have faithfully done your duty. To this day, I am proud of you all. <sighs> Conria didn't fall, did it? Since you're still here. Correct. <laughs> so, no need to revive the homeland. More than one kind of strange power exists here. Souls are no strange sight under the circumstances. Still, if you intend to venture deeper in and continue- <coughs> You bet! We'll be super careful! Oh, but dang! Does this mean you're not coming with us? That device took a severe toll on me. It will take me some time to recover. Oh, right. Well, actually, Paimon already knew that. You've, you've earned a good rest, Dane. Vacation? <laughs> the very notion. There are more important things that demand my attention. And I suspect that these amplification devices are connected to that plan. Thank you for understanding. I only hope that next time we meet, you know whose side you're on. Sheesh! He sure knows how to hold a grudge. Saving that snide remark right until the end? Well, shame that we didn't get to see your brother again. As long as you keep pressing on with your journey, you guys will definitely meet- Oh, Paimon almost forgot. The real reason we came here was to investigate what was going on with the hill trills, wasn't it? We've probably seen enough to report back to the miner now. But 